Okay, with the release of Resolve 15 Beta 3, uh, they've made some pretty big changes uh, compared to the other betas, but the one major one they've changed that people have been asking for is they've implemented most of the loader functions into the media in node now. So I'll demonstrate that. So if you're in Fusion 9 and you import some media, so I'm going to drag a MP4 here, put that into the flow. If you look on the right here, you have under the tools, you have, let's say, global in, where you could set where the out is, and the in point is, and your global in, and you have a file name, and then you also trim the in and out points of this particular clip. You could set the hold first frame. So if we set here, we can change that if we hold first frame, and say put that up to like, 50 frames or something, or here are 33 frames. You can see it down here indicated with this green line. And if I hit play for the first 33 frames, it won't play, and then it starts playing from the beginning. And you do the same thing with hold last frame, and then you have reverse, real reverse, and play it in reverse. You have loop, so it'll sit there and loop it. So that's all in your loader, and in the, the media end node, which is basically the replacement for the loader in Resolve 15 and the fusion module it didn't have any of that functionality but now with beta 3 it does so I'll demonstrate that here so first I'll bring in a transparent background to the timeline then I'll go to fusion and from within fusion I will import some media so I'll do the same file bring that into the media pool and then bring it down into the flow here and now if you look, if you have the previous beta versions, you'll notice that you have a lot more options here now. Uh, you now have a global in out, and even though it is on the uh, previous versions, you couldn't really do anything with it. It wouldn't actually change anything. But here you could actually modify and change it, and you could type it in directly. Double click. Type it in directly and change it. You could also change the trim down here and change the in and out points here and you could do the same thing with the hold first frame so I'll put that in the first viewer here and ramp this up it has the same behavior it has the green line here to indicate how long it's being held and if you play the first frame the first frame will hold for that amount of time and you can also reverse it and loop it now it doesn't have all the same functionality it doesn't have how to how to deal with missing frames and doesn't have these other tabs for import and for format but it has done some of the most important ones and one of the biggest things is that if you look here the media in one or the media in now has a mask input so i've done another video where you can add a couple different nodes and uh, replicate that uh, functionality but now they actually have it built into median uh, into the media in node so I can just click here and click on here, and now you can mask it without having to jump through anything or make any adjustments. It's just built right into the media node. So again, that's a, that's a pretty big change. So this is all going in the right direction. They add a lot more functionality to make it uh, match more with the functionality of Fusion 9. So hopefully they'll keep up with that. Uh, I just wanted to do this video to show that they've really improved the media end to make it much more like the loader node in Fusion 9. So hopefully you found this useful and thank you for watching.